News Morning starts right now. Paula, good morning. You've got something really cool I know. To show this us. is so cool. Really, it is. Coming up, here's a story you've got to see. A brand new tool for educating, and it's being pioneered right here in Metro Detroit. It's making teachers better, teachers, students better, students. And when you see the story, you'll ask yourself, why don't I live in that school district? <laughs> it's coming up on Local 4. Oh, we can't wait. Paula's been talking about this for about two weeks. We can't wait to see it. 617 now, and uh, if you go to Parents Day at your child's school, I know sometimes you're just amazed by all the technology they have yeah. there that we didn't have. We get a little envious. But one of the local school districts really setting itself apart from everybody else in the state on that level. Have they ever raised the bar in Bloomfield Hills? New technology is being used that will really have you thinking twice about those old dusty chalkboards. Those are a thing of the past. <laughs> yeah, Paula, Paula has been just chopping at the bit to give us this story. We've been trying to get this story to you for a couple of weeks now, but because of all of the other news, you know what the really cool thing is? Imagine kids being upset because there's a snow day. I mean, kids, and they should, kids really should like school. So when you make learning so much fun, students just have to be there, then you know, you are absolutely doing something big. Which polygon has eight vertices? My first question is, what the heck is a polygon and what is a vertice? This is second grade? You bet. And what they're learning is as astonishing as how they are learning it in the entire Bloomfield Hills School District. Why did you pick C? Because polygons are connected and they have sides. Exactly. This is Mr. Gata's second grade class in room 222. It's bright, colorful, and there is an air of excitement for learning because of this contraption. So we can keep this one P, and maybe you could call these two a different name. A broad description would be whiteboards instead of blackboards, computerized boards that can be programmed with lessons. Say that there's A, B, and C, and then we get to vote to pick which one we want to vote, and then we press it, and then it comes up on the top. It's easier than writing on a piece of paper, and it's really fun. I really like school because you get to learn a lot, and it makes you a lot smarter. I know which of those students, which ones choose the correct answer, and which one chooses the wrong answer. But here's something. With this whiteboard technology, an entire generation of teachers... I've never used chalk. I love it when Mr. Gator does, um shapes. It looks like it's more real life. The Bloomfield Hill School District is the only one in the state in which every single solitary classroom from K to 12 is using this interactive technology and the data is already pouring in. Teachers are able to see if what they're teaching sticks. Students know immediately if they are learning and you don't have to wait until test day to know if education is working. It's changing the way teachers deliver um, instruction to students. Um, they're able to assess and um, make changes um, in content right, right there. I'll keep a track of who has which act to vote, so that way later on when we have our lessons, when they work at their tables, I can talk to that student one-on-one -on -one and really make sure that they understand it or if it was just an accident, they pressed the wrong number, or do they really get what we were trying to teach them? Okay, come to my desk, Mr. Gator. I'm still on what's a polygon. All right, the commitment is huge. It costs thousands of dollars just to equip one classroom, and the cost goes up as the grades go up. But Bloomfield Hills has made the commitment. We were at Eastover Elementary School, but that whiteboard technology is in every single one of Bloomfield Hills' 350 classrooms, K through 12. And get this, they're the only uh, school district in the state to have them in every classroom, mm -hmm. only a handful in the country. Oh, All right, wow. tell the truth. Who knew what a polygon was? I'm still wondering what it is. Is it a shape? It's. Uh, <laughs> we have to ask Maddie, the second grader. <laughs> I, yeah, that's right. This, we'll have to call it. To, are you as smart as a fifth grader, right? <laughs> no. Are you as smart as? Is that, a, I know, is that amazing? I it's mean, so super. Bloomfield Hill School District, kudos for very you. Very impressive. I mean, very, very mm -hmm. impressive. And we're glad we can finally bring you that story. Oh, Sorry yeah. for making you wait, but it was worth the wait. Well, we All so right. hope that that technology can get into other schools as well, so kids Hopefully can Hopefully people will see this and yeah. see that those test scores are going up. They can mm. see immediately yeah. if that lesson is working. Yeah. They don't have to wait. All and right. then call really the cool. school board and Thank say, Paula. why haven't we got that? Yeah.